the show where there are no penalties, nothing is offside, and everything is fair game. This is The Gloves Are Off. Welcome to the show, The Gloves Are Off. I'm your host, Jack Haskins. Here with me, as always, head coach of the Bobcats, Brian Curran. Brian, good to have you again. Good to be back. It's... uh... Seems like it was just last week that we were, oh, that's right, we were. It was last week. <laughs> we had our assistant coach on, just ate him up and spit him out like dinner, but whatever. <laughs> well, a new dinner. coach on the show today, head coach of the Lakeland Rustlers men's basketball team, Peter Sambu. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having me. And good to have you back. You were here last season. It was so a lot of fun, yeah. You kind of know what you're getting yourself into, and that's a good <laughs> thing. No, we got this down pat, man. There you go. I don't even have to be here. I can just leave these questions here. You guys could talk it out. But uh, I'll get things started here at least. Rustler's having a great start to the season, 8-0. and oh. Like, what can you say about your team so far this year? Uh, so far, so good. Great bunch of kids committed to our vision of uh, hopefully being in Toronto, Nova Scotia in March. And, uh, like, we take it one game at a time. So, so Didn't far, so good. Did you go out and get a couple big players, though? Yeah. We were we, talking about that last yeah, time. Yeah, we went so. out and got a did couple of kids. Em? Yeah, we did. And, and those kids are making a difference. And like Brian said, you got a couple new players. How does this team stack up? to last year's squad, which is also a very strong team. Yeah, very strong, but a lot more veteran leadership on this year's team. And uh, last year's team was a little bit more athletic, but uh, as far as team play and just uh, execution on both ends, this team's a, a, a little further ahead. Perfect. And both of you gentlemen have been coaching in Lloydminster for a few years now. What kind of sporting community is this for a coach? Well, I mean, there's th- this community of all the communities I've been in in smaller towns seems to be incredibly active. There's, there, first of all, there's so much hockey. I yeah. mean, uh, there's no question if anyone's listening to this, they definitely need another facility here. There, there's just no question. Oh, they do. I mean, there's like just... Like a practice facility? Yeah, no, they need a big one. <laughs> I'm being this off for sure. <laughs> but they, you know, there's so much hockey. The minor hockey program is doing so well, and there's so many kids, and... Um, you know, you hate to have kids that uh, who try out for one team because there's just too many numbers. They don't make it. It's the way the game goes. Um, you know, the college is doing much better. We did go to the ladies volleyball te- uh, game, which my boys loved. <laughs> I don't know if they were watching the game, but they certainly loved the game uh, within the game. Um, I certainly want to get out to to a basketball game because I played the game too. But I think our sports in general uh, is a very it's a huge, huge, huge. Uh, community involvement as far as uh, kids and all the way up through college and, and junior hockey. How about yourself, Peter? I, I agree with Coach. Uh, you know, the community support for our team has been incredible. Um, we went out to the Bobcats game. <clears throat> got introduced that. out to the center ice. Some of our kids never seen. I got a kid from California who's never seen a hockey game who's totally impressed. And and uh, I think the relationship between the Bobcats and uh, the wrestlers is getting stronger. We. We, we totally support Coach's program, and he's doing a wonderful job. And I know vice versa, he's told me many times how he supports us. And uh, I love this town, and it's a great town, and, and uh, I'm glad to be here. We are going to get out to a basketball game. We just got to get our schedules. Yeah, because it's I think, busy, right? Yeah, so Yeah. yeah. So it always seems like when they're at home, we're away, and well, vice versa. you guys versa. play when, usually? Uh, Friday, Saturday. See, if they played like a Wednesday, we'd be good. See, we could make it out because we don't play Wednesdays. They play Wednesdays sometimes, right. so we, we have a chance to play get all the time. But <laughs> you know, you know, this this community has so much that they have to support. That's your big, big issue. Plus, the, you know, they've got the uh, Allen Cup coming, which That's will be, be huge hype up for that. I'll yeah. guarantee you that. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of work to be done still to continue to build it, but the support in the community has been unbelievable. I can speak candidly about that because of what they've done for the Bobcats organization last year. Of course. And it's good to see teamwork with the teams that you have here. But I'll tell you who's not really uh, going hand-in-hand teamwork-wise is uh, NBA right now, obviously. Lockout. They're done for the year. I don't care what anyone says. Like, there's no way that they're going to be able, even if I they sign I can't wait to hear your two cents on this. How devastating is this going to be for the sport, Peter? Uh, to me, it's not going to be devastating at all for the sport because the sport is growing worldwide. Uh, but for me, as a basketball coach, it's kind of sad. And uh, you're beginning to see the NBA players taking contracts overseas uh, and taking contracts where they can't back out of it until the, till the year is over is telling me a lot about what they think the, the NBA season is going to be like. And it's, uh, you know, I, I agree with you. I don't think there, there's going to be a season this year. I hope there would be, but uh, I, unfortunately, I don't think there will be. Do you know the disappointing part? And I'm not just talking basketball. I'm talking all the sports. Is right. 
you know, how, how, how much is too much? Um, yes. You know, you look at some of the big sports and colleges and that, the, the big, huge TV uh, contracts and the rights they have, um, you know, the money that is, is being thrown out here. For now, Don't get me wrong. I think athletes should be compensated, but where have we gone? Um, you know, they're talking for a 50-50 split with the owners. I mean, guys, you wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for the owners. Exactly. And I'm, I'm an ex-player. And yes, there has to be a midway because some owners are making a ton of money and not sharing the wealth. I agree with sharing the wealth, but not when Joe Boss is paying you $8 million a year. Okay, you want 10 now? What? Come on, guys. I mean, you're basically saying, you're standing up for their rights of what they think. But at the end of the day, what is too much? I mean, if somebody gave me, I don't care, if somebody gave me a lifetime contract for $2 million a year for 10 years, I'd be all over it because you know what? You'd be set, right? But it's, it, it's that... yeah, but, and if it went to three, great. But I think I don't understand enough about the NBA collective bargaining agreement and what they're doing to, to make a, a real brash statement and saying these guys are a joke because there might be other issues on the backside okay. that I don't know about. Fair enough. Peter, are these people, or like just athletes in general, getting paid too much money? Because you look decade after decade, athletes are getting paid more and more as time goes by. I agree with Coach, because yeah. yeah, I remember one, at one time those kids used to say I'd play for free. And now it's gotten to the point where they can't play for $8 million. $8 million a year is a lot of money. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> and like, I, like you and I talked, when Coach played back in the NHL, they weren't making that kind of salary, and they, they still competed every night, and they went out there and played hard. And, uh, and, <laughs> and now these kids are you know, making $8 million a year and wondering, hey, is, is this enough? So how much is too much? I agree with Coach. Yeah, I'll give you a relative one. And I've never ever said this before, but I will say it here. I would say, and it's not all about me, everyone. It's just a relative point to where we are in our times and inflation. I was the 22nd pick overall right. to the Boston Bruins. Mm -hmm. Gordy Kluzak was number one pick overall. I'm pretty sure on the numbers here, I know what I made. I made a signing bonus of $75,000 and I made $60,000 a year, 60, 60, 70 in my time. Okay. All right, Gordy made 90, I believe, was his first year. It was the first, pick, first overall, overall pick. pick. Okay, wow. yes, that was back in caveman time. Everyone bite me, <laughs> whatever. I wasn't even going to say No, <laughs> I'm just talking to Joe Public right now. So like, you, well, you were a fighter or nothing else. Yeah, well, I still got to play. Right. But at the end of the day, yes, we wanted to be paid accordingly to what we did. And that was the, the whole um, letting everybody know what everyone was making, disclosing contracts and stuff like that. But we've just gone too far as athletes. When I look at most uh, quickly school teachers, I think it's disgusting. Oh, when I look at yeah. school teachers, I think it's disgusting what athletes cry and complain about. Yes, you, you do perform and people love watching sports and it's, it's North America's pastime and yada, yada, yada. At the end of the day, I think it's a disgrace that school teachers are fighting for pennies when the athletes are arguing over whether I get eight or 12 million a year. Consider, Absolutely. Consider, yeah. Sorry, considering they make so much, much more of an impact right. on kids' lives than a, than a professional athlete. Oh, it is too bad. And you know what? It's, I'm not just picking on the NBA. NHL had a lockout six, seven years ago. NFL was that close to having one. But anyway, we could talk about this all day, but we've got to go to break. There's more Gloves Are Off coming up. Stay tuned.